With action and suspense out of the Old West comes the most famous hero of them all, Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd. The ring of the Silver Spurs heralds the most amazing man ever to ride the ferries of the early West. Hopalong Cassidy, the same Hoppy you cheer in motion pictures, and the same California you've laughed at a million times. Raw courage and quick shooting have built a legend around this famous hero. Hopalong is a name to be feared, respected, and admired. For this great cowboy rides the trails of adventure and excitement. William Boyd as Hopalong Cassidy and Andy Clyde as California. Well, Hoppy, what about our story? We call this one the unwilling outlaw. This is one adventure California and I never expected to get in on. We knew that over at the county seat, a young fellow called the Panama Kid had been arrested, tried, and sentenced to hang. But from all we'd heard of his reputation, it only seemed a shame he couldn't hang a couple of times over. And one day at the bar 20, California came pussyfooting my way from the direction of the barn. And he sure looked excited. Hoppy, you've got to get over to the barn right away. There's somebody riding in there that wants to see you. California, if it's the cook, tell him nothing doing. I ate some of those biscuits myself. And the boys want to lynch you. That you can... ain't the cook, Hoppy. No? Who is it, then? The Panama Kid. That set me back on my heels. The Panama Kid was in a far pointed farm that had been a jailbreak. And what would a snake like that want to see me for? You heard me, kid. What do you want to see me for? Well, I... I guess I hope maybe you'd help me, Mr. Cassidy. I Wait a second. California, I thought you said this was a Panama kid. Yes, he said so. If this boy is that outlaw, I'm Jesse James. What did you lie to California for, young fellow? Well, you'd better let me explain. Oh, maybe I should. You go right ahead. Well, my real name's Johnny Gates, Mr. Cassidy. I'm from Grubstake. That's a little mining town over in Colorado. Just recently, my father died and... My uncle sent me over here to clean up some of Dad's business. When I got here, they claimed I was a Panama kid and threw me in jail. You mean you're the fellow they sentenced to hang? That's right, Mr. Cassidy. I'm supposed to hang in two weeks. Well, those men over at the counter seat must be crazy. If you were Johnny Gates and you were from Grub State, why couldn't you prove it? That's what I don't know. I asked Sheriff Caswell to write to Grub State, and I know he did. But the letter he got back said they never heard of me over there. Well, uh... Weren't you well-known? Oh, sure I was. Dad was the richest man in that territory. Then there's something fishy about this. How'd you escape? Well, I didn't relish the idea of hanging, so I've been watching my chance. Today, one of the deputies got careless when he brought my grub to me. I jumped in, grabbed his gun, and went out the back way. Which deputy was it? A fellow named Jake Sims. Jake Sims got careless? I don't believe it. An hombre never got careless with a prisoner in his life. No, sir. Why'd you come here, Johnny? Well, it's like I said, Mr. Cassidy. I heard of you and thought you might help. All I want is a chance to get back to Grubstake and get proof of who I am. Then I can come back and clear myself, but... You sure you'd come back? You wouldn't just keep on running? Why should I? I got property back in Grubstake. Why should I keep on running when I can prove I'm not the Panama kid? All right, Johnny. I'll see what I can do. California, you can saddle your horse. We'll, uh, see... Sorry, Johnny, but I changed my mind. You've got to reach. What? Hey, Hoppy, what's the idea? Suppose you leave this to me, California. Reach and keep on reaching, Johnny. You're going back to jail. Try anything and I'll let you have it. Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, The Unwilling Outlaw. Falsely accused of being the Panamint Kid and sentenced to hang in two weeks, young Johnny Gates broke jail and took refuge on the Bar 20, where he appealed to Hopalong Cassidy for aid. Hoppy accepted his story and promised to help him. Then, without warning, drew his gun and informed the youngster that he was returning him to jail. Now the boy looks at Hoppy out of eyes that are filled with hurt and disappointment. Mr. Cassidy, I... I don't understand. I thought you meant to help me. If I go back to jail, I'll hang. I doubt it, Johnny. And anyhow, I'd rather have you go back alive than dead. All right, you can come out from behind that gear now, Jake. 
Jake? What? Well, you, you... well, Jake Sims. How'd you know he was hiding here, Hoppy? I just caught a glimpse of him. You can put that gun away, too, Jake. Johnny's my prisoner. Shoot him now, and it'll be murder. Why don't you mind your own business? Because I don't like seeing youngsters like this trick. You get it now, don't you, Johnny? That jailbreak was a plant. Jake got careless on purpose. He wanted you to escape so he could shoot you down. That's so, isn't it, Jake? Isn't that what you intended to do when you trailed Johnny out here? You try and prove it. That didn't work, so it doesn't matter. But I'll give you a word of warning. For another trick like this, and I won't ask questions. I'll take it for granted he was murdered and act accordingly. You get that, Jake? You hear me? I heard you. All right, you better remember. And just to make sure your memory doesn't go back on you, I'll send a couple of my boys along. No, I don't want to kill the kid. Why should I? He's going to hang in a couple of weeks anyhow. Maybe you're afraid of what might happen during those two weeks. All right, Johnny, you're going back to jail. But don't worry about it. California and I are going to help you. But how, Mr. Cassidy? By running the grub stake and getting evidence that you're Johnny Gates. California, get our horses and hustle it up. we got a mighty tough trip ahead of us. Anders. Hey. I wanted to see you. I heard Johnny was alive when you brought him back again. How did it happen? Cassidy butted it in. Oh. But that ain't the worst of it. Now he's riding the club state to get proof Johnny ain't the Panaman kid. Oh, I... You sure of that? Sure, I'm sure. I heard him say so, and I saw him and that sidekick of his right away together. They're riding the club state? Well, as fast as their horses can get him there. We've got to do something about it. That's right. And what do you think I'm here for? Where's Burke and Spade? I don't know. In one of the bars, I reckon. You, you want them? Yes, right away. As soon as you can find them. What for? I want a couple of hands, but I'm too particular which direction they point their guns. Well, that's Burke and Spade, all right. But after you get them, then what? They're riding with me to grub stake. Huh? I want to get there as soon after Cassidy as possible. I'll tell him I'm there for the same reason he is. If he's already got the evidence he's after, I'll offer to ride back with him. He won't have you. Why not? Well, well I don't know, but he's... You're seems... forgetting that I'm Johnny's lawyer. <laughs> Everyone knows how hard I'm working to defend him. It's only logical that I should go to Grubstake for evidence to clear him. Well, I suppose so. Cassidy already has it. He should be glad to have my company on the way back. He hasn't the slightest reason to suspect me. All right. But how are you going to explain a couple of gum hands like Spade and Burke? I won't have to. Cassidy will never see them. Not with me, at any rate. And when they've done their work, he still won't have any reason to connect them with me. Good trick if you can work it, Thambers. I can work it, Jake. Now, get me those men. Oh, and one other thing. What's that? The fastest horse in town. I'm leaving today. I expect to be in grub stake in exactly six days' time. <laughs> Hi there. Hi. Kate Porcini? That's all right here in this envelope, California. Affidavits and everything. Here, you got saddlebags. Put it in one of the pockets. Yes, yeah, sherry. Uh, Hoppy, look who we got with us. Hello, Cassidy. What? Oh, hello there, Danvers. What are you doing here? I guess I came for the same reason you did, Cassidy, but you beat me to it. All ready to start back now, are you? All ready. But well, what's your interest in this? I'm Johnny Gates' lawyer. You knew that, didn't you? Yeah, I guess I did, but I never gave it a thought. You came for evidence to prove his identity, did you? That's right. Well, it looks as if you've saved me the trouble. Got any other business in town? Nope. Just wanted the evidence you've already gathered. If you've got no objections, I might ride back with you. There could be trouble, you know. You might be glad to have an extra gun. You are expecting trouble? I don't know. I only know that someone seems awfully anxious for Johnny to die. He might take steps to see that that evidence you've got never reaches time. You're right. I thought of the same thing. We'll be glad to have you. Oh, that's fine. You and California ride on ahead. I just want to see the sheriff here for a moment or two. Uh, you're taking the main trail, aren't you? That's right. I'll catch up with you then in a little while. Good. All set, California? Whatever you say, Hoppy. Let's go. Get up. All right. Easy. 
Easier than I expected. <laughs> Fade. My dear Lambert. Have a same set? Yeah, I think so. Cassie didn't see you, did he? Well, I kept behind that oil wagon. Well, it wouldn't make any difference if he did. I don't think he knows me. Well, what's your orders? Where's Bert? Getting a drink at the Silver Dollar. Want me to fetch him? Ah, never mind. He can take his orders from you. I'm going back with Cassie. I'll be catch up with him in a few minutes. We'll take the main trail. You and Burke follow, but keep out of sight. Give us two or three days. Long enough so Cassidy can't come back here and still get home in time to do Johnny any good. Yeah, and then? Get those papers, Spade. They're in a pocket in California's saddlebags. That's the only order I have to give you. Get those papers. <laughs> Well, Danvers, almost the end of our third day on the trail. Another three days, four at the most, and we'll be home. We made better time by taking it easy than if we'd pushed our horses too hard. Yeah, I made good time. Oh, but don't forget, Hoppy, at the end of this week, Johnny Hayes. I am not forgetting, California. If everything goes as well the rest of the trip as it has this far, we've nothing to worry about. What do you say we make camp, Danvers? It's going far enough for today. Yeah, I think so. Shoot me. Ah, here's a good spot right here. Plenty of water just over the rise and good graze all around us. This looks fine. All right, we'll call it a day. Ah, uh, Danvers, give me a hand rustling up some firewood, will you? Right. You better stay aboard, California. Count around a little. Trouble's coming. It should show up pretty soon. Look around and see what you can see. Right, hoppy. Here's Sam the tunnel, California. Well, well what's the name? There's two so of us. Now you can't just keep your hands elevated. Now, come on, Bert. Let's see if they got what we've been looking for. I reckon they have, all right. Hey, you with you? Them saddlebags of yours look kind of promising. Let's see what you got inside them. Well, okay, here, mister, you stay away from them saddlebags. Oh, they won't hand on them and all. Take it easy, California. Oh. These fellows mean business. A smart fellow. Now, let's have your hardware. Come on. Yours, too, over there. Well, I can't be helped, California. Just do as they say. Cassidy, you've got more sense than a figure you have. It's a handy thing to have. You're spade, aren't you? Sure. Somebody must have told you. Uh uh-uh. uh. You told me when you called your partner Bert. I've heard of you two. I've been wanting to meet you. Oh, yeah? Not exactly in this way, of course, but we'll be meeting again. Oh, whatever you say, Cassidy. Did you find anything, Bert? That's what we wanted to say. It's all here in this envelope. Good. We'll be clearing out then. You'll find your shooting iron in the creek if you want to go fishing. Thanks. Well, thanks to you, Cassidy. You gents just did us a real big favor. Come on, Bert. Adios, Cassidy. See you again sometime. Come on, Hoppy. We've got to get after them fellas. What for, California? You want to get your head shot off? No, oh, but we've got to get that evidence back. Not a chance. All they got to do is destroy it. They could do that in two minutes. Just as soon as they saw we were after them. Yeah, afraid you're right, oh, But you know what this means, Hoppy. We ain't got no time to go back to grub stake. If we don't get that evidence back, John is going to hang. You're sure of that, California? Well... Well, uh, Andy? That remains to be seen. Come on, let's fish out our guns and we'll wrestle up some grub. Doggone if I get you, Hoppy. You take this just as calm as if it was only you was going to be hanged. Now, back to Hop Along Cassidy and our story, The Unwilling Outlaw. When gunmen hired by Danvers made away with the evidence that would establish Johnny Gates' identity and save him from hanging, Hoppy took the disaster so calmly that California was both puzzled and irritated. Now, only a moment later, Danvers revealed that he is just as puzzled as California had been. Yes, it am like California. I don't understand this. You don't seem to mind being held up at all. Well, what do you think I should do, Danvers? Jump up and down and tear my hair? You might at least act as if you realize this means that Johnny will have to hang. Well, for that matter, you don't look so awfully worried yourself. This has been a terrible shock. I'm just beginning to realize what losing those papers means. What do you intend doing about it? Nothing. Why not? I told California. Those fellows have probably destroyed the papers already. If they haven't, they would the second they saw we were after them. And you propose to do just nothing? That's the size of it. You got any better ideas? I think I'll turn in. A little early, isn't it? I need to leave early. Not waiting for us? I'd rather not. 
Frankly, I'm disappointed in you, Cassidy. And I'd feel more comfortable if I made the rest of the trip alone. Well, that's up to you, Danvers. That's what I thought. Now, if you'll excuse me. Go right ahead. Thank you. You got anything to say, California? Well, I'll tell you, Hoppy. It's like this. At first, you had me fooled. I couldn't figure you out, but uh, I've been thinking. What I think is, you've got something up your sleeve you ain't talking about. Is that right? <laughs> well, could be, California. Could be. Do you mind if I ask what it is? Better not. It might be dangerous. Huh? How come? I might tell you. Hey, uh, hold up a second, Burke. Ain't that Danvers up ahead riding this way? Well, it uh, looks like him. Sure it is. Hey, wonder what he's up to. That's what I like to know. Hi there! Hey, Bert! You're sure laying leather to that, boss. Must be something important. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa there. Whoa. Whoa. What's up, Danvers? I'm not sure. I'm glad right to find you. I think you two boys are going to have to do your work all over again. Huh? What do you mean by that? I think Cassidy outsmarted us. How? I'm not sure, but I've got a hunch he has another set of photographs and affidavits to prove Gates' identity. If he has, we've got to get them. Mercy, you think he has? The way he acted last night. After you boys rode away, he didn't seem worried at all. I didn't like him. I pretended I was disgusted with him and used that as an excuse to get away. For my money, he's still got evidence that can save Gates from the rope. You're giving him a lot of credit for brains, ain't you, Danvers? Maybe. But I don't make the mistake of underestimating any man. If Cassidy has another set of papers, I want you to get them. If he hasn't, that was no harm done. Oh, we'll repeat our little performers, eh? Right. Are you sticking to the main trail? I think so. Let's see why they shouldn't. Another holdup's going to be kind of dangerous, ain't it? After the first one. That's up to you. Pick your own time and place. You shouldn't have too much difficulty. I don't know. If I were you, I'd wait until they'd almost reach town. By that time, they're liable to be a little careless. All right. And uh, what do we do afterwards, Danvers? Ride into town and report to me. Afterwards, we'll fix it so you'll have a hideout till things blow over. All right. We'll get going now. Come on, Burke. We've got to make tracks. I'm with you. Uh, see you later, Danvers. That's right. This time, make sure you really give those two a going over. We'll do that. Leave it to us, Danvers. <laughs> if Cassidy still has proof of Gates' identity, it'll take a miracle to get it through. And you know, I don't think Cassidy's a miracle worker. Get going, boys. California. Yeah, Hoppy? Don't look now. Wouldn't be polite, I guess. But there's those men again. Huh? Well, a vault then. Why Take no it good. easy and pull up. They got us covered. <clears throat> whoa, 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 whoa. Well, what do you two want this time? Well, to tell you the truth, Cassidy, we got to figure in the last time they've overlooked something. Wouldn't want to do that, you know. So we figured to have another try at it. You can tell it, Burke. Uh, Cassidy, this time we're going to search you and your horses from skin to cover. Edwards? Hey, Burke. Come in, come in. Sure. So what happened? Catch up with him? What'd you find? Danvers, you're in the clear. That right? Is it, Spade? Sure. We searched them inside out. Even half for the saddle department. <laughs> you had the wrong hunch. They're clean. They didn't have a paper on them. You'll vouch for that? Absolutely. We didn't leave one place they could have hit anything. They didn't see you coming. Didn't have time to hide anything. They'd have seen us. We'd never got the drop on them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Well, thanks, boys. This finishes things. As soon as young Gates hangs... We get paid off. Are you sure you'll hang? No way to get out of it? Not at all. Oh, I've appealed to the governor, of course. But I made sure that the governor won't get my appeal in time to act. We can consider everything settled. When will it happen? Yeah, let me see. He hangs in just about one hour. What are you doing over here, then? You're still his lawyer, aren't you? Shouldn't you be with him? I'm going over to the jail right now. I was only waiting to hear from you. What happens to us? Look up Jake Sims. 
He's arranged for your hideout. You're going to look very sorry about losing your client, Danvers. Oh, but I am. I'm very sorry. The only thing is, if I didn't lose him, I'd be even sorry. <laughs> It's awfully nice you're coming over to the jail to be with me, Mr. Danvers. Oh, I shouldn't have, my boy. After all, you're not only my client, you're my friend. It, it's almost time for them to come and get me, Mr. Danvers. Yes, I know. I hope you'll understand how sorry I am, Johnny. I almost feel as if somehow I'd failed you. Oh, you shouldn't feel that way, Mr. Danvers. Well, I do, Johnny. Of course, when you come right down to it, the failure was really Cassidy's. I can't understand his losing those papers that would have identified you. He's supposed to be a fighting man. But, no, I'm not blaming Mr. Cassidy, Mr. Danvers. It was darn nice of him to try and help me at all. I didn't see anybody else trying to do anything for me. Yes, there's that, of course. But still... Oh, oh Jake. Come for Johnny, have you, Jake? I'm not, Mr. Danvers. Sheriff Caswell said I had to fetch him. Everything's set. He's waiting outside. Now, I'd give you a little more time if I could, but I can't. Yeah, we understand, of course. Come on out, young fella. I sure hate to do this, but you savvy how things are, I reckon. Kind of anxious to get this hanging over with, aren't you, Jake? Mr. Cassidy, you got any reason why we shouldn't, Cassidy? Lots of reasons, Jake. Cassidy, you mean you've got evidence that'll get Johnny off? No, I'm afraid I haven't. You haven't? Not one speck. Then that settles it. Now get moving, kid. You got a date with the hangman. Now, back to Hop Along Cassidy. All right, you heard me, kid. Sheriff Castle's waiting outside. Now get moving. Not so fast. <laughs> You said that I... I said I had no evidence that proved that Johnny isn't the Panama Kid. But I didn't say there wasn't any such evidence around. I don't get that. Then I'll make it a little clearer. Danvers, I had two sets of evidence to prove Johnny's identity. A second in case the first was stolen. I think you suspected that. But what you didn't suspect was that I let you bring that second set of evidence on into town. What? At the last night you were a Californian, me, I had it inside the pad underneath your saddle. Take a look, Dan. I think you'll find it. Are you bluffing? Uh, you take a look and see if I am. Yeah, I'll do that. I think you're lying, but I'll look at the face. You might stand right where you are, Jake. Danvers can do his looking all right without any help from you. I'm not going no place. I know you're not. Puzzled by all this, Johnny? I don't know what to say. I The way I got things figured, you've been framed by your uncle. I got a notion he paid Danvers and Jake here to set this whole thing up. That's why he sent you here. With you out of the way, he'd get your father's estate. You can prove that? Not yet, but I expect to. Maybe right now. Sheriff, you get your hands off me. You keep going. There'll be something more on my hands the later, you Danvers. What did you find, Sheriff? Just what you said I would, Hoppy. I hid out where I could keep an eye on Danvers' horse. When he came outside and found those papers, he started trying to set a match to him, and he was supposed to be defending Johnny. This is a frame-up. <laughs> sure it is, Danvers, and you fell for it. I'll... You'll do nothing, unless it's talk. And I guess you and Jake will do plenty of that. How about Burke and Stade, Sheriff? Pick them up all right? Got them both, and plenty of cells for everybody. Good. That should wind things up. You mean... You mean I can go free? I, I'm not going to hang? You aren't going to hang, young fella. It'll be just take a few minutes to fix things legal-like, and you'll be free. Well... Well, oh, gee, thanks, Sheriff. Don't thank me. Thank Hoppy there. He's the one that did it. Uh-uh. Not me, Sheriff. Huh? Well, who did then? Why, your attorney, Danvers, of course. He rode clear to Grubstake and back for you and brought those papers with him, even though he didn't happen to know it at the time. <laughs> Thanks to Hoppy's cleverly outwitting Johnny Gates' crooked lawyer, Johnny is no longer the unwilling outlaw. Hoppy's next story is titled Kidnapper's Trail, an exciting adventure in which he and California become involved when a visiting senator's daughter is kidnapped and held for ransom. So be sure to hear the next thrilling episode of Hop Along Cassidy.
Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd, is transcribed and produced in the West by Walter White, Jr. The Unwilling Outlaw was written by Gibson Scott Fox. All stories are based upon the characters created by Clarence D. Mulford. This is a Commodore production.